Hello, welcome back, and next level is the Trouble of Tar. Delicious tar, it is sticky and gooey, but I rec wouldn't recommend eating it, so it's not really that delicious. Oh no, here's some uh, custom uh, blocks here, I should say, custom sprites. They make you go really slow, and you can't jump very high on this tar. And that's also a nice effect there, is really deep, dark, black lava down there. It really makes it look like some sort of tar pit area, perhaps in the Stone Age. And why did I jump into that bomb? I could have waited. Arg! <laughs> and there's munchers, not placed. Uh, I mean, I was gonna say, um, not Kaizo-ish use of munchers, so to speak. Uh, not placed in a Kaizo way, I was gonna say, but I didn't think that would be the uh, right way to put it. I just noticed something behind over behind yeah the the, the thingies um oh, oh i thought there was a wall over there <laughs> whatever um it, it, you actually go in between those uh, bars down there so i usually try to x animation make things that look nicer i don't know what that means i don't know what that means uh, i'm the noob a noob capital n zero zero b and there's tar don't step in the tower, you'll get your shoes all messed up. And we do not want to get our Gucci shoes messed up. <laughs> uh, um, what the, ow. Yeah, you see, Mario uses Gucci brand um, clothing line. He, he's very high class plumber. In other words, he spends a lot of his hard-earned coins on these clothing lines, which is why he has to collect so many coins at so many levels. And the last one is Neapolitan title. And, oh yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, I just landed on a Yoshi. I remember this one. It's uh, a reference to Neapolitan ice cream. See, it's got the strawberry and it's got some chocolate. Uh, the world, uh, the world name should imply a theme. This level should be part of something like Neapolitan Plains. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Unless you want to have like a variety level pack or something. I, I don't know. I, then again, I'm not a designer, as I said. Hey, you're not going to knock me off my Yoshi this time, buddy. Yeah, I'm keeping my horse. Yet another reference. <laughs> um, yeah, what's up? Yeah, da -da 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 title screen oh isn't level c7 the um the level that uh has the yoshi house or is the yoshi house if i'm not mistaken i, I could be wrong though I, I it just came to mind there and that was it for the level wow that was pretty quick <laughs> uh, at least it went smoothly i kept my horse i got, still have my fire flower and i'm walking down some neapolitan stairs bonus game is this the flower uh, no, this is the mushroom mushroom slot, and I just mistimed that all over the place. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this one is the flower. It's um, it's something like star, mushroom, flower on those three spaces. Mushroom, star, and then flower to the right there, or something like that. I I keep I always forget the which ones are which. Anyway, star road now. This is the area that says what not to do. Say hello to Glitchland. What the heck is WNTD anyway? Cut off canyon. Oh, it sounds like a well-made level design. Ah, horrible, horrible. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's showing off how terrible uh, cutoffs and stuff like that look. Like remember, <laughs> like lead speak right here. Um, like if you go, uh, let's see if I can save state and can I kill myself? Yes, I can. Okay, load state <laughs> stuff like that. You know to keep yourself from dying in those dumb ways and stuff like that. It's a half a Yoshi coin. What the heck is that? Oh wait, can I? That's just just for the fun of it. Let's see if I can walk in midair here. No, wait, wait. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, I've seen that there's a glitch where you can walk in midair with these uh, springy thingies. I was just wondering if you could do that. Why is there an on switch down there, and why is there this whatever kind of bridge block over there? I don't know. And what the heck? <laughs> uh, it's, that's a muncher attached to a Yoshi coin. Delightful. And we've also... Whoa, shoot, no! <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised I actually remembered to jump off Yoshi. That's not, that's not usually first instinct. Is that... Yes, that is. That's a halfway point right there. 
Um, usually I don't remember to jump off Yoshi when I'm plummeting myself into a hole, but Yoshi is an excellent way to save yourself. Though I gotta admit those uh, two-tone pipes there are actually pretty neat in my opinion. But not when they're not when they're connected to nothing like that. That's kind of and then look at these little la pieces of land in the floor there. Yeah, this does not look pretty at all, but that's the point of this whole area. But it is kind of entertaining and tastefully done in its own way. <laughs> look at these, like these little corner blocks here, just leading a path to a, a cloud area, leading a path to a turtle. That's it. <laughs> and there's goal tapes without the goal posts, and I'm gonna hit another goal. There, there's actually something in a in the VIP series video that also had like multiple goals in a row like that. It had like six or seven goals in a row. It was really, really tedious and time consuming. I, I left the room to get a drink, and it was still going on. And okay, let's start Kaizo Trap Theater. This is another tastefully done uh, level. Here's here's what I mean about. Uh, there being a cement blocks and munchers all over the place. Putting aside silliness for a minute, I couldn't get myself to make a real Kaizo level. So here is Kaizo Theater, where no trap really works. And yeah! Oh no! No! What's going on? I'm floating! I'm Jesus! And yeah, those nothing works at all. Like these little one block areas in here. And uh, the- Oh, what the heck? Yeah, that the, these uh, this thing right here. You're supposed to jump and make him jump, and then you're supposed to run underneath it. But uh, yeah, that's a really stupid uh, <laughs> Kaizo trap like that. That just isn't fair. Like that bonsai build trap there, which you'd normally have to duck jump into a little crevice between the ceiling and that bullet bill or a bonsai bill, I should say. And here's some thwomps, which would be next to impossible to get by because of these only three block area. Um, jumps here, which is also Kai <laughs> Kaizo-ish, and so are these invisible coin blocks, and so are these muncher jumps be. Yay, and I got a piece switch. I can just walk right through them, and I could also jump- Oh, I, I can walk through these things too, yay! <laughs> I forgot about that, and, uh, uh, Yes, that is true. A lot of the Kaizo traps have already been done many, many times before, and I just made that gap without any trouble whatsoever, unless I really did have trouble and I didn't notice it, and uh, I guess I'll take this to the end and get myself a free one up. Yay! Um, yeah, no, I, that's a very tastefully done Kaizo um, demonstration level, I gotta say. At least in my opinion. Nothing works, but it uh, demonstrates the... How it works and how you would die from it. Uneventful island, lol. All right, this is gonna be. You have two choices. Uh, you have two chooses on this one. Go left and skip this one, or go right and suffer the consequences. Okay, I'll go left first. Fine. Oh, okay, let's speed this up here. I was out of now. And now let's take the right path. Just to show what's going on over here. And, okay, be sure to hold the run button here. So we're running. And we're running. Running some more. And so that's a nice background. Looking at there. And that is a Yoshi coin. And there's a midpoint. Midpoint. You know, because we're definitely going to need one of those. On this very long stretch of land here. And... Yeah, so we're still running this arrow sign, another Yoshi coin, another arrow sign. What's another? What's the last Yoshi coin? Dragon coin, whatever you want to call them. Arg! I always get the names mixed up on my walkthrough. I don't know. It's because my concentration is divided. I know the names of the enemies, or at least most of them, um, when I'm playing normally and I'm just thinking about it, like second, uh, second nature. But when I'm talking while I'm playing, I always seem to screw up the pronunciation, not pronunciation, the names of stuff like that, and. Um, yeah, it's usually best to have another one screen with those sprites on it. If the level has nothing going on, it's boring. Just like what you've seen there, and uh, even my commentary could not fill the gap and void within the bowels of that level. And uh, so I guess that's about it for this part. I think I'm going to cut it off here. I think the next part is when I'll be finishing the game. The next part's going to be Tile Set Trauma, so I'll see you guys then.